Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This entire talk about no confidence on the Modi Sarkar, is this illusion or reality? That's the brass tag that we're going to try and get the opinion of our panelists as we shape a snipe on the news hour tonight. It's a big development because everybody was looking forward to what happens on Monday. Two parties who are actually opposition in Andhra Pradesh came together on one aspect, no confidence on the Modi Sarkar. One an ally of the NDA who's walked out recently and the other firmly in the opposition. But both of them believe they have no confidence, especially in the Lok Sabha, in the Modi Sarkar. This is what happened in Parliament today. Before we put up the big questions and open it up. Now the big questions that arise at this point, even though there has been only disruption, din and no debate, 11 days continuously, can this unrest within the allies and the opposition be dismissed off as political posturing? Someone like Ram Madhav has also called it political games by Chandra Babu Naidu. We'll come to that in just a bit. Question number two, is there a growing sense of unease with the functioning and the ability of the Modi Sarkar? Question number three, the other aspect, is this all a perception game that's being played by the opposition to try and get some sense of equi equity ahead of 2019 with the public so that they can go back to them and say something against the Modi Sarkar. Now have the allies and opposition jumped the gun with this no confidence strategy because this at the moment is surely going to not withstand the test in parliament and it's bound to fail. So what is this going to achieve? Question, the other question that stands out. Is the BJP deliberately blocking this no-confidence motion or has the opposition realized their cover is blown? What is happening in parliament? Who is actually not allowing the parliament to function because one day opposition says it's the government, next day government says it's the other side. So we don't know. So let's try and debate that also. As far as uh, the current impasse in parliament, is this a reflection of the government's inability to get the house together, bring the opposition onto the discussion table and ensure that parliament functions? Or is this current our parliament impasse a reflection of the opposition's duplicity and the disinterest in passing key bills and ensuring that debates happen on key issues? These are the big questions. Let's save a snipe. We have the government, the ally or the erstwhile ally and the opposition on the news hour tonight. Dr. Sambit Patsarad, national spokesperson of the BJP and Ghansham Tiwari of the Samajwadi Party. And Jaydev Gala, MP Lok Sabha, also member of the TDP. He is a renowned uh, industrialist and, uh, and acclaimed CEO. So in terms of the business parlance and whether or not things are happening according to a plan or is there no strategy in this mayhem and chaos, we'll reflect on it. But Sambit Patra, is the government introspecting? Are these favorable signs for the Modi Sarkar in the build-up to 2019? Look, as far as the build-up of 2019 is concerned, I mean, definitely I would say that Bharati Janata Party today, serving the people in 22 states across the length and the breadth of the country, only shows the confidence of the people of this country on the Modi government. As far as the no-confidence motion that has been passed by the TDP is concerned, very respectfully and humbly I would disagree that this is not, nothing to be worried about. In a political life, such kind of moves do come firmly believe that this is nothing but a rhetorical move 
because of the simple fact that if you really want the no confidence motion to be discussed on the floor, to be debated on the floor of the parliament, for which we are ready, why create a ruckus and din? We saw members of the same TDP coming out with placards, not allowing the din of the house, the ruckus of the house to come down, so that the, uh, the speaker can announce for a debate on this issue. It itself shows that what the TDP and number of the opposition parties are doing today is nothing but a political gimmickry, a political posturing, because of the fact that the elections are nearing. I firmly believe that the Modi government has the confidence of the people, not only the numbers in the parliament. And that's the reason as if to why case, we are sir, marching ahead are in 2019. more and more also. people? Shatrugan Sinha tweeted earlier in the day and he talked about actually switching sides. His cryptic tweets talked about that you will not have another session of parliament going forward. You will not have anything else, uh, you know, uh, any other policy that is going to happen. And he also hoped that this government completed a full term. So, and then he talked about going towards the Congress, March 18, mein bahut kuch hoga. I'm just saying, Satru is one person. There are talks about some murmurings within the JDU. Then you also have some of the other allies. Gansham Tiwari, what is happening? Is this all trying to build a perception, ek hawa bana do, ki bhai, no confidence in Modi Sarkar? Well, there's, there's something called adding uh, insult to the injury. What Samritji just said is exactly that with respect to TDP. I empathize with T TDP, they share our, our election symbol, but the point is that the Prime Minister had made a promise. He made a similar promise in Bihar, and then he made, made a similar set of promises to the youth, to the farmers, to the entire country. Four years have passed, those promises have not been delivered. And opposition is one thing, but when the allies of the government who, el who were elected by the same mandate hmm. stand in the well of the house, and get accused by their partners that they are hijacking the house. You have to understand what have they made our, our democracy into. One, last year they, they did not allow the parliament to function because they wanted to focus on Gujarat election. Hmm. This year they are playing a, a, a match with their own ally and they are accusing their own ally. The nation is watching. As, a, as opposition, there has been a no confidence on BJP in Uttar Pradesh anyway. The bipoles are there to tell. Hmm. But more importantly, we want to look at the no confidence motion as an opportunity to tell the country and tell people of Uttar Pradesh about the massive failures of, of Modi Sarkar, about the betrayal of the people, starting all the way from the south to the north, be it on national security, be it on job security, be it on farmer security, women security. There has to be one agenda that this government should have accomplished. Dr. Patra wanted to rebut. Yes, Dr. Patra, before I bring in Jaydev Kala. Ne first in for First and foremost, look at the oxymoronic nature of the allegations. A section of the opposition and even now Mr. Ganshyam Tiwari repeated by saying that this is a fixed match going on between the Bharti Janata Party and the TDP. That bring in a no confidence motion and then don't allow the no confidence motion to be discussed by creating din and ruckus. So naturally you have to take one stand. Either we are playing a fixed match or in fact the things are in a wrong shape. You cannot have both these allegations floated together. Secondly and most importantly, let me tell you, when you speak that there is no confidence, why were you not, in fact, coming up with a no-confidence motion before this? I mean, you don't have the numbers with you. You said that the country is going through a rough patch. So it was the duty of the opposition to float a no-confidence motion well before what is happening today. The Congress could have done that. The Samajwadi Party could have done that. You could not even gather the, you could not even muster the courage of gathering the requisite number of 50 member of parliaments to float a no-confidence motion. And let me tell you, in the history of Indian polity, if you would see the vote share percentage in the last three elections, Never ever in the history of Indian politics any political party would have got 50 or more than 50 percentage of vote share. In Gujarat, in Himachal Pradesh and in Tripura, three consecutive elections, the Bharatiya Janata Party has got this tremendous achievement of getting more than or equal to 50 percentage vote share. From 1.5 percentage to 51 percentage Tripura, in Tripura. Like you are adding, adding the, the numbers confidence? brought together by the to allies, Dr. More? Patra. You are, you are especially Tripura, you are adding the numbers brought together by the allies. But Jadev Gala is through with us, but we just put out a pie graph which said that you oh, Gujarat, are at 282. Gujarat, sir. let me tell you, you are Gujarat, at about, 50 you are at about 282. Own. You are at 282 in 2014, and now you are down to 273. At 273, if there are people who are wanting to move no confidence motion against you, sir, 2019 mein lag nahi you numbers. How are you going to get up to 282? How are you going to get up to 282 in 2019 when at 273 there are people who are saying no confidence in the Modi that? Sarkar? It's a serious question. I'm just bringing Wait, in Jaydev Gala as I you put up. I did not say fixed match. Just quick, quick correction. I did not say fixed match. I said I exposed the inherent contradiction. Inherent contradiction. Jaydev Gala, good, e good evening.
Now, we just momentarily lost you, but you're right into the debate. What is this whole thing? Ram Madhav says this is political posturing and political games by Chandra Babu Naidu. You have nothing to show to the people and you're threatened because you have YSR Congress gnawing at your heels. In 2014 itself, only one percentage or uh, lesser, you know, was the difference between you and YSR Congress. Now it's a literal, literal run for the money, and that's why you're doing all of this. Well, we have not. Uh, we're looking at it as a fight for our rights, for the fight, fight for the rights of Andhra Pradesh. Right from the beginning, right from after 2014 elections, we've been trying to work with the BJP and the NDA. We've been requesting, then we were forcefully requesting, then we started demanding, then we started threatening, and finally we had to pull out of the government, then pull out of the NDA, and now we have no other option. Now, the, coming to the no confidence motion, I, I think that the whole point is that if you look at all the parties that were in the well all of last week, uh, protesting on various uh, different topics that are important to them where the central government has made some assurances and they're unfulfilled. This is about fight for the rights of the states. If central government makes a promise or an assurance, if the, whether it's previous government or this government, if prime minister gives an assurance on the floor of the house, if there's an act of parliament that very clearly defines what needs to be done in the case of Andhra Pradesh after bifurcation, what is the accountability and what is the responsibility of the center? Uh, we, we see like-minded parties getting together to debate on this. And if, if the debate goes through, I think it will give an opportunity But you are the guys who are leading the disruption in the, on the floor of the house today. Grievances. Correct me if I am wrong. Was it not the TDP that was leading the disruption? No, we were there on a till, day you moved we were there the no confidence motion. We were there till 12 o'clock. After 12 o'clock, after 12 o'clock, we were all at our seats when we were standing to show support for the no confidence motion. We were not in the well of the house after 12 o'clock. So then who... Then why did the disruption AIGMK happen? Who were in the well of the house. So then why did the disruption happen? If you believe that you had all of Pardon? all of the people, all of the all, all the of them who are not on the treasury benches in the opposition supporting you in the no confidence, why did the parliament uh, uh, adjourn? There's because only the government two people who did not support uh, who were in the well of the house today. Well, on the one hand, they say that, but then they tell the speaker not to accept the motion. It was not for discussion today. It was only to move the motion. Hmm. The discussion will come some other day. You mean to say the speaker cannot even accept a motion to move the, the, move the motion? She cannot even accept that. She's passing bills. She's allowed Rajnath Singh to make a statement in the din of the house. Yes. But she's not able to hear us and she's not able to see us in order to move the motion. It, we were not asking for discussion today. The discussion would have taken later. And there are only two parties in the well today. And I, I don't, you know, I cannot answer for them why they were in the well. But all, all of the other parties were in their seats and standing supporting the conference motion. Answer that charge because that's a legitimate one, Sambit Patra. There, because if it takes, you can pass the finance bill in 30 minutes with no discussion. You can have Rajnath Singh Ji make a statement. Why can't you allow the motion today? The first and foremost, as far as the Not prerogatives the of the speaker is concerned, the way the speaker discharges his or her duty, just a second, as far as the way the speaker discharges his or her duty in a neutral manner is none of uh, our jobs. In fact, not for the politicians to comment upon that. Secondly, and most importantly, as far as and the din in the house of the, a lot of theory, uh, in the floor of the parliament but is reality concerned, is very that different. we all had seen, that, 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 that we had all seen, can, can, I, can I please speak? We, have, we had all seen as to how not only the TDP, but the all other political parties also, in fact, were on the well of, in the well of the House trying to create disruption in the House. So it's but natural that if they were quite only serious about the well. position of theirs, they would have maintained the sanctity of the House. They would have maintained the sanctity of the House without any placards and without even Maintaining order of, of the, the House the is the responsibility of the term. government. And we could have a healthy, we could have, we my God, look at the din created even in the debate. I mean, in the debate also, the TDP but is trying to create a, a point. leave aside the well of the house. He has a fair house. point, Dr. So, of course, Patra. you can well imagine. He has you a can, fair point can, saying that why is it that these two parties were not well controlled and managed, sir? Why is it that the government is unable to bring the opposition to the discussion table? And why is there more din than debate in parliament? Because as per the statement of somebody who is now a very high-ranking minister in your government, the owners of park making the parliament function lies on the government. So if no, there were two it parties and not the TDP it lies with the opposition the, in the well, as well, together we can and together we should. Together we can and together we should and that's the reason as to why this...
That's the reason as to why we had all party meeting. The government and the Prime Minister himself, before the session started, pleaded to all the political parties to maintain the sanctity and to see to it that every topic is discussed. Any topic that you want to discuss, we are ready for the discussion. But you had seen as to how this is what is called as a political posturing. The political posturing and the gimmickry of politics is that you don't allow on one hand the proposition to be accepted that you in fact sell in the public. No, but they the TDP here is saying they want, uh, the no TDP is laying the charge on your shoulders, Dr. Patra. When I they say they your shoulder, the it. government shoulders, that this was this disruption was deliberately allowed. It was not the TDP and the others who backed the no confidence, but two other parties who were there on the floor of the house. That's what Jaydev Gala is saying, and saying, why didn't you ensure that those two also sat down and the motion was allowed? No, of course, that's the reason as to why, in fact, the speaker you would have seen in the live relay was continuously requesting other political parties also, those who were creating the din, to go back to their seats so that any further proposition could be taken. If they don't heed to her advice, it's but natural that there's adjournment and that's what was done. So in, even now, if they firmly wish now that let this me goes ask you into this. debate and discussion, we, I think that all the parliamentarians should behave. So if they should do that, my point is, Gansham Tiwari, am I unfair in asking that if the finance bill could be passed amid so much of din in 30 minutes without a discussion on the nation's finance bill? Well, we have you believe that this motion of known confidence could, could or could not have been allowed. Why is it that the government saying that they are ready for a discussion, having the numbers and the might in the Lok Sabha could not get it done? Look at the way uh, Sambit Patraji, as spokesperson of, of BJP, the senior ally in NDA, is, is shunning and admonishing their own allies. They have been allies uh, with the mandate for four years. NDA <laughs> has become no, di no dialogue alliance and no democracy al alliance. As a result, they would not allow parliament to take up the agenda that people want to take up. The entire Andhra Pradesh wants this agenda to be taken up. In 2014, when NDA was voted to power in, in Andhra Pradesh, Chandrababu Naiduji supported uh, the Prime Minister and Janasena Party, uh, Pawan Kalyan supported the Prime Minister. If, if YSRCP, Janasena and TDP, three, three key political voices that represent Andhra Pradesh, want this agenda to be taken up, we have seen so many uh, members of parliament in, in the parliament is unable to control the proceedings of the parliament. There is, they are misleading their own allies, let alone the country. Dr. Patra, respond and then Jaydev Gala. See, uh, see, Anand, as far as the allegations by Ghansham is concerned, these are the allegations which have been thrown in Mr. Modi right from the very beginning in 2014. They said that it is a no democratic alliance. They said that this is an arrogant alliance. But despite the numbers that the Bharti Janta Party got after 30 years in Indian political history, we accommodated with humility and respect all our political alliances, including the TDP, whose spokesperson is present in the panel today. Remember, it is only political posturing because my simple question, which is being and unanswered as yet is, if there was no confidence, if there was arrogance in Bharati Janta Party's behavior, just about a year or so before the election, you come up with a no confidence motion. You have been talking about, you in the sense the opposition parties have been talking about, that we have the numbers and we are not confident about the functioning of the Bharati Janta Party. They would have surely brought the no confidence motion well before what is happening today. And secondly, as far as Andhra Pradesh is concerned, the 14th Finance Commission in its recommendations was categorical in mentioning that quote unquote the special status cannot be given to any state well in accordance with the promise made by the former prime minister we had accorded a special package to Andhra Pradesh 90 percentage being paid by the center 10 percentage of all, all the central related activities taking place in Andhra Pradesh by the state government we have a package of 22,130 crore a total amount that is to be paid to Andhra Pradesh as revenue deficit for five years between 2015 and 2020 I mean I can just go on. 7,500 yeah, crore to Please respond. 12,000 crore for developing infrastructure of Eastern Coastal Industrial Corridor to See, regarding, so regarding the no Simply put, yes, simply put Jade Bala, you have come back to where I started. Rhetorical, political this gimmicking. is nothing but political posturing just to manage the perception on ground because Chandrababu Naidu is feeling the heat. No, we've, like, like I said before, we have been continuously escalating this issue. Our chief minister has come to the, uh, Delhi 29 times. He's met the, chief, the prime minister so many times. Every time we've been asking, we've been requesting, we've been forcefully requesting, we've gone to demanding and threatening and then pulling out. 
and now no confidence. How is it suddenly we did it over the course of the last four years? It's been a continuous escalation. We've been making our views known in every budget speech, every finance bill speech, every time we met any of the concerned ministers, every time I, our chief minister has met the prime minister. We've been, it's been a, we've been very consistent with what we've been asking for. We were asking for special category status and demanding it right up to 2016 when uh, Mr. Arun Jaitley offered us a package in its place. And what did he tell us when he offered that package? He said that it was going to give us everything in the special category status, but it was not true. He used a 14th Finance Commission, it was also mentioned tonight by Mr. Patra, that 14th Finance Commission, the chairman of that Finance Commission, a member of that Finance Commission, have come out in public and said that they didn't prevent the government from according special category status. So that, that, is, that is a misleading statement. Secondly, industrial incentives, they were told that after the GST, there would be no industrial incentives because of the, the well, we can get into being, the, uh, we the can tax get into the nitty gritties, but, but I'm, going to, I'm going to ask a straightforward CGST, question IGST, of you, Jaydev Gala. Exemption Let me ask you this. Has been given 2019 is a few months away at least. Pardon? That's what we are given to understand, if not at least a year. It's a few months away. Will the, will the TDP go back to the BJP after the 2019 elections? So right now, as of, you know, I, I cannot tell you what's going to happen in 2019 election or what's going to happen after the 2019 election. I can only talk you to we about will all what's be happening watching. now. And what's happening now is all we, parties, we, we all will states all, we will all be who watching, are fed sir, up with uh, because, promises because that Because there been, is one aspect which says that this is all posturing and perception management just to, to create a lot of hohalla around the fact that we are all there. The regional satraps need to try and you know, muscle up or uh, cobble up some kind of volume it's and an traction on ground. Right. But on the other hand, act, if with 273 seats, you can there are the voices in the parliament which say no build. confidence on Modi Sarkar, it's time for some introspection because if you're losing Lok Sabha by polls and if there are key states that are going to polls now, then there is something wrong somewhere and something needs to be fixed. I'm just saying that the opinion on the house tonight is that parliament should function, there should be debate and discussion, no confidence or not, let the motion be allowed, sir. We'll see who stands where. Let the numbers speak for themselves. Sambit Patra, Kansham Tiwari, Jaydev Gala. Thank you very much for joining me on the news article.